friends. Welcome to day five, not 10, five of the 12 days of Amy December challenge. So today I'm really excited because we're going to dive in and we're going to talk about how to, and we're going to make it quick and simple, much like every other day. This should take less than five minutes. It'll take longer to explain it than it will to actually do it. So let's go ahead and explain it anyway. So today we wanna go ahead and we're gonna filter down. I'm gonna filter uh, two different times. We're gonna filter down and reach out to a few people. Okay, we want you to reach out to a minimum of five people. Now, if your business is new, five might be a stretch and that's okay. We want to stretch and we want to grow a little bit and we wanna be a little scared. Now, that's the goal. Um, if your business is larger and you reach out to people frequently and you've got a really big customer base, you might want to reach out to 10 to maybe a little bit more. I don't want to scare you, but I do want you to be a little bit like butterfly-y, if that makes sense. So let's go ahead and let's talk about filtering. We're going to pop over to contacts. Okay. Contacts is the lower section. It's that second tab over there. It's, it's teal right now. We're going to go to uh, contacts and we're going to go right to this filter button. When we go to the filter button, we're going to start with an easy filter. We're going to go to categories. And I want to highlight that these categories, now customer prospect is what is selected when someone selects on that contact form. If they say they're interested in products or purchasing, they're listed as a customer prospect. If they are interested in potentially the opportunity, they're listed as a recruit prospect. And then if they are um, interested in hosting, they're listed as a host prospect, okay? So that, just so you can be aware, some of these are automatically filled for you if someone filled out that contact form which is pretty cool. We also encourage you to reach out to those prospects on a timely manner, and those will populate in your to-dos. Um, but that's not what we're filtering for here. Right now, I wanted to show you that these are here and available for you. You can also scroll down. A uh, quick note on this other section, if they are uninterested and you select uninterested, it's sort of like them unsubscribing. It means that they're going to be in your contacts and any orders that you log in there can be there for your reference, but we're not going to populate any to-dos for that particular contact if they are listed with this uninterested category, okay? Just so you know. Um, and additionally, you might want to list yourself as, as me. So that way we will also not populate to-dos. So that way you are not reminded of the orders that you have placed because pretty sure you know about it. But anyway, so that's what those two are actually intended for. These custom labels, are exactly what they sound like. They are custom and they were set up by me for a variety of reasons. I've got uh, the little coffee cup 2019, coffee cup 2020. That was back when we used to get together with people. Um, and I would put, oh, I had coffee with this person. So if I would reach out to all the people that I met with in 2019, for example, we'll see if we have any, okay? I'm gonna actually see if that that's the one we're gonna filter by. Additionally, I created some other things. August connections means I connected with them in August. Um, I don't remember what BO stands for, but that's okay. It's kind of a funny one. I'm sure there's a story behind it. Um, I put host here with the little coronavirus. It's not very funny, but it was at the time. Anyway, uh, so you can modify these is the other thing I want to be able to highlight. But I'm currently sitting here going, okay, so coffee in 2019. Let's apply that filter. I actually have no contacts found. So I did not utilize that uh, contact filter. So what I might do is I might go, okay, well, anybody in 2020, and maybe I want to find the people that are in my VIP group. So I'm applying a number of filters here that I want to connect with these individuals. <laughs> and there's no context found. Okay, so I'm using terrible examples. Part of that is my, my demo. Um, so in this example, we're just going to, as of right now, I'm going to apply customer. Okay. So I have 14 contacts that are currently listed as customers. I can just go there and then I can hit apply upper right hand corner. And this is my 14. Okay. So I could actually reach out to these customers right from here, but let's say that I want to filter again. I want to narrow that field. So what I'm going to do, and sometimes experimenting like this, even if it's not necessarily, you saw me filter through and, and those custom contacts, I've cleared those out from demonstration purposes. Sometimes you just have to play with it a little bit to get the right size of individuals that you wanna reach out to. So in this example, I'm actually gonna go down to this last contact or last purchased, and I'm going to select, uh, I'm not sure if there's anyone in here for like, we're gonna go back to September and maybe even take it to, the end of November. Let's see what we get there. Um, and so when I do this, I can apply. Okay. 
when I do that, I can see that 14 has been narrowed to nine. So those are the individuals that I would want to reach out to. Now, when you reach out to this, it's going to automatically populate. Okay, I'm gonna select this person. If I go to text this person, it's going to automatically populate with this verbiage. Now, in this example, I'm offering a November special. I need to update that, right? So let me show you how to update that. We're gonna go back to, I'm gonna cancel out of there. We're gonna go back to here. So I went to the accounts tab. I'm gonna to go to message templates under contacts there. And we're gonna go cold message templates. So the cold message templates, this will show you here, message a contact from profile. So in this example, um, I'm gonna back this one out and I'm gonna say December. Okay, so you can change this as much or as little as you would like. You can also reset and restore to default. You can always restore to default. Um, and in this case, I'm just gonna say, I might even, if it's been a while, I would say it's, oh, and then I can put um, my first name. Okay, so it's my first name. There we go. Except for I'm being a grammatical nerd here. There we go. There we go. Okay, so here I'm gonna go ahead and save that. Now when I go back, and I still have it sorted here for, my, for me ready to go, I'm gonna go ahead and text this out, okay? So it says, hi Billy, it's Janessa, I can't wait to share this number special with you, I know you're gonna love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and send that right off, bam done. So I've reached out to one of them. Now, if I were to go back, I could just go right down this line, you know, right down this line and go ahead and reach out to um, Dash here and reach out and go and reach out and go. So you can see how this works. It's pretty quick and pretty easy. Once you understand, okay, I can filter these to get exactly the customer base that I want. So I'd like you to reach out to five to 10 people or so. All right. The goal is to make you Make you a little bit nervous, but also only to take five to 10 minutes, okay? Spend about two minutes filtering, spend the rest of the uh, three to 10 minutes, or sorry, three to eight minutes, then my math is off. Spend the, the last little bit of time reaching out to your customers just to see how they're doing. How's December treating you? Are you done Christmas shopping? Is there anything I can help you with, right? You don't even have to wait on that question. You can just say, have you finished your Christmas, Christmas shopping? Because you don't necessarily, you know, you can ask, you don't have to. You can make it just be, how are you doing? Because we could use a whole lot of that right now. Again, big, big, big stores are not reaching out and saying, how are you doing, right? You wanna be not the big, big store. So I wish you luck, have a blast, happy Saturday, happy fifth, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for day six.